guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on my channel you're welcome my name is Chimene and like I promised earlier this is a video of my wedding dress how I made my wedding dress just snippet disclaimer because this channel is not a fashion tutorial channel this channel is just basically about my life and other details so I'll just be giving snippets and hints on you know the materials I used fabrics and whatnot but I'm not going into like detailed detailed sewing details like of how I made this dress because of course this is not a fashion tutorial channel just I'll make random mentions of some things and that's just about it so I started making my wedding dress in August even though my wedding was going to take place in December but guys I was making so many things my reception dress bridal shower dress <laughs> don't ask me how I knew about that my bridal robe bridesmaid dresses so many things I didn't outsource because I had the time and I wanted to do them it was a personal decision plus I work alone as you can see in this video so yeah it was all me I love to challenge myself and I don't regret if you are a designer you know how difficult it is cutting bulky fabric alone but yeah i did that and i had the time to do it like i said earlier so that was about it so fun fact you know your husband isn't supposed to know much about your wedding dress i mean on the day there's a big review and you guys are like oh ah oh uh, and everything but because i stayed with my husband we basically did this together and in a few clips you see where he was helping me cut fabric <laughs> i think this was the special part of it you know us doing it together so yeah this was basically it it was a busy time in my life i was kind of absent from social media and if you guys are wondering oh why did you leave youtube for a while blah 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 blah, blah. this was part of the reason like i had stated earlier in my video i was busy with a lot and this was it so here i was fixing my loops and yeah this was <laughs> when my husband came to join me and we we're just like goofing around i made some adjustments to my blouse but i don't know if you guys will notice that the sleeves the bell sleeves i took it off the one at the wrist yeah so my husband and i were just goofing around <laughs> and yeah this was the chantilly top i wore over my dress i hadn't embellished it yet it was just sewn and placed on my dress form so i went ahead to put the buttons at the back after i had fixed the loops and uh, times like this one, I'll just be watching movies on YouTube or Netflix or listening to the radio or listening to music because when you're working alone, it can be really, really boring. And this is like one of the ways to just make time go by fast. <laughs> so look, I was done with the buttons. It was beautiful. I was like, oh, this is done. So yeah, come move on to the next thing. <laughs> so you can see my husband helping me to cut fabric like I mentioned earlier <laughs> this is the sweetest man ever like <laughs> maybe he's probably watching football and when the when they are like when they get to half time he'll be like oh let me help you do this let me help you do that but sometimes he was very annoying like this moment <laughs> if you can read my lips I said leave me alone and I was eyeing him but shortly after I was smiling <laughs> And this is because he has my Momo button, guys. <laughs> it's beautiful to see. Really beautiful. I was stressed out this period. And if you can see, I was even looking back. I was like, hey, is this how I'm going to look on the main day? God, help me. Help me. Hi. Anyway, yeah, this was when I was working on the undergarment. And I made some adjustments to this undergarment. It didn't, I didn't leave it like this. I just didn't show it because guys you know I said I was making videos sewing I couldn't multitask it was difficult for me but yeah this was the undergarment and then I went ahead to embellish with applique stones and bead the beads I used on the neckline were just a final thought like an afterthought and I'm glad it came out beautifully yeah so this was when I placed my applique and this part was easy peasy actually because at this point i was kind of rounding up 
my everything so what i did was listen to music as usual and then work so guys you know making your own wedding dress is kind of like a bragging thing <laughs> My children don't go here world because mommy made her wedding dress <laughs> and I think that was what motivated me while I was doing this because I went to fashion school, I improved on my skills and I was like, oh, what better way to, you know, put this out there if not to do it myself, my brand, me just doing my thing and I must say I loved every moment of this. I also love that I documented it and you know it's here for posterity you know just watch and see <laughs> it wasn't easy but i loved it i was stressed out this period if you can see in the background there's a burnt orange dress in the background i was also making dresses for clients and but i spent more time doing clients dresses because of course you have to satisfy and deliver before you work on yours but it was something i loved to do and I liked it. I was going on market errands almost every day and then when I came back from market errands I'll start making the dresses or working on something. I basically had something to do every single day. I proceeded to making my veil. This is a cathedral veil. A cathedral veil is a really 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 long and that's just the beauty of it and you can see me working and my husband will say cover my property. <laughs> he really helped me because you know the filming thing I think he's gradually adjusting to the whole thing because before now he used to be stressful I won't lie. <laughs> but yeah I worked on my veil. This didn't take a while. It didn't take it didn't take so long actually because I had already done the cutting. The difficult part of this was cutting out my applique. I bought about four yards of it and guys when I say I cut it where well, it turned out beautiful because look at this. This picture doesn't even capture the whole thing but yeah. Then of course the inner dress, the main dress I wore before the top and the wrap this was it and this was when I was done with it I just wanted a simple a-line dress underneath because of course my wrap was bulky really long and very heavy I wanted something that if I take it off I'd still feel comfortable and still look good I must say I made a beautiful bride I looked so beautiful looking back at my pictures I'm so proud I'm like okay this was definitely worth it every moment was worth it <sighs> proceeding to my flowers guys hmm, instagram vendors will show you pepe like if you see the price they're calling for fla flower flower <laughs> these people don't know that this girl is a diy queen I'm, i went and sourced i sourced my flowers i picked them and this was exactly what i wanted and it was even good that i did it myself you know turned out fine i'm so happy and i still have them <laughs> this was when i was rounding up with the wrap this turned out beautiful as well i had embellished it i still did more embellishments after this that wasn't everything but guys as you can see i made a very very beautiful bride and yeah this was just the process and like i said earlier this wasn't a detailed detailed sewing thing you know i was i was just trying to give you guys like snippets of the days and events leading to the main day so there'll be more videos eventually my bridal shower video how i made my reception dress and the rest of that and i hope you guys just enjoyed this mini wedding series okay thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe see you guys in my next video bye